Your back affects your daily health. Welcome to another installment of Your Spine, Your Health. In our last series, we ended up with C7, and we began to talk about the transition to the next part called the thoracic spine, other times known as the dorsal spine. Our spine is in three geographic regions, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. Today, we're introducing you to the first thoracic or first dorsal vertebrae. And just like every other segment, this one is joined above to its friend C7 and to its friend below T2. So around the first thoracic vertebrae, however, we start to see a slight change of shape from the vertebrae above and the vertebrae below. Part of these changes of shape is to allow contact for muscles and ligaments that help us with motion. The first thoracic starts to give shape to the area for backpacks as an example. Why is that important? Well, adults aren't the only ones who wear backpacks when they go camping. Think about kids. Have you ever seen kids going to school starting in grade one? They've all got backpacks pretty much. Why is backpacks important? Backpacks are carrying weight load on your shoulders. They affect the posture so that you have balance and you don't tip over or backwards for that matter. And a progressive amount of weight on those bone structures can affect how their shape and later growth happens. Remember, the backpack, while it may be only used for half an hour or an hour at a time, will be used daily for months and years. So what happens around the first thoracic vertebrae if there's a problem? Well, remembering that this vertebrae, the first thoracic, is joined to the one above and below, the nerve and muscle branches leaving these areas will start to go to the shoulders, the arms and hands and fingers, and of course, the neck muscles, you'll still feel radiating problems up the neck to the head. The integration of these things is so detailed that you don't find that the problem stays only at this level of the spine. You have to be alert to two of the common things that go wrong. First, you're gonna feel some loss of movement, and with that, some pain in muscles and in that region. When these things start, see if stretching exercises are gonna help. Prevention is always about exercise and lifestyle and work habits and proper technique. But remember, if these symptoms last more than two to four days without any sort of change or improvement, don't wait before you seek help. Call your family chiropractor, have a consultation, and they'll explain to you where the cause and the prevention attitudes can change. Remember, your back is important to your daily health. Join me on the next show as we continue our journey down your spine.